Hi everybody, check this out. This is my citrus grafting project. This was a sweet lemon tree that was about, I'd say it was about 10, 10 feet tall. But the problem was that the fruit that it made was not good at all. It was kind of watery and the flavor was kind of lacking. So what I did was I cut the tree back to right there. There's the stump. And I cut it back to about, about a foot and a half. And then after a few weeks, some of these shoots started to form from the bottom here there's some more shoots shoots started to push out from all over the place on the tree and then I grafted on to those shoots new varieties different varieties of citrus see there right there is a shoot and here's the new growth of the scion that's where I did the graft right there did a lot of grafts on this tree and most of them took one was here and it died um, but the rest took there's one there's another graft I did all cleft grafts I never knew that cleft grafts would work on citrus I was surprised and this is my first time ever grafting citrus so I think maybe it's beginner's luck or I don't know what it is but all the most of the cleft grafts took I got the scion wood from the citrus clonal protection program it's a program offered by the University of California, Riverside, that uh, you can order s uh, from an extensive list of citrus scions. I, they had stuff on that website that I never knew existed or, or was available. For example, the, I got the Ortonique Tangor. It's a cross between an, an orange and a tangerine, and I can't wait to try that one. Uh, I think this one is the Tangor. This one and another one on the tree for sure is the Tangor. I had such low expectations of of grafting citrus that I didn't bother to label what what uh, I ordered. So I also got the, let's see, I got the Moro Blood Orange. I love the flavor of that. I got the Kino Mandarin. It's supposed to grow very well in this in Southern California clim climate and it's supposed to be very tasty. And then I got I got the Clemenules Clementine, a uh, popular variety of Clementine in Spain I hear. And here it's very good. Uh, but the thing is I didn't I put of those four I showed you, I put them I grafted all of them onto the tree, but I didn't bother to label them because you know I I didn't think the grafts would take but I'll tell you, the, the scions that arrived from this program were so fresh, they were so pure and just well developed and just ready to go, ready to graft. They were just really high quality scion wood. Uh, so I credit that, I credit the, the, the quality of the scions for, for the success of the, of the grafts. So here, if you see down here, a little shoot formed. There I did the graft and then you see the new growth push out here. Uh, once the winter is over, I'll take all the grafting tape off. So yeah, once the cold ends, then I'll take the grafting tape off, which would allow it to, which will allow the scions to grow faster and better, I think. So there's another one, and there's the new growth. Uh, once, once I see some fruits on here, then I'll know which, what I grafted where. And here's a shoot right here that is just starting to develop. As soon as it gets thick enough, I'll graft another variety onto it. So um, yeah, check out the program. Shout out to my cousin. My cousin was the one who told me about it. If he's watching, thank you very much. Uh, I'll put all the information for the, that, the CCPP, the Citrus Clonal Protection Program. I'll put all that info in the section below. Uh, you can, they ship Scions to within the state of California and then also out of the state of California in the, in the USA. I'm not sure about international shipping. Um, check out the website, all the info is there. And uh, you can get access to amazing different varieties of citrus. The list was so long, I, I gotta go back there and see, see what they have because I wanna get some more sign wood. They have varieties that really blew my mind. I did not know such an extensive list of citrus existed so yeah check them out and uh thanks for watching